so video analytics to be a very brief uh, you know uh, talk about that it's in the manufacturing industry is an innovative technology that leverages video data from cameras and other surveillance systems to extract valuable insights and optimize various aspects of manufacturing operations today in this episode of mojo for industry presents digital dialogue on video analytics in manufacturing industry sponsored by advantic we will delve into the practical applications of video analytics in the manufacturing sector so to take the session forward let me introduce you with our panelists for the day so we are having dr ray chi with us who is the business development manager of video ai vsmd group at advantic who is joining us from taipei taiwan and uh, we have mr ajay s kavadi who is the founder and ceo of docetran tech private limited who is joining us from bangalore today so to start with uh, i will invite dr ray chi dr ray is a business development manager of video ai vsmd group advantic he is going to share more details on the advantic edge ai solutions with nvidia platforms here is our product for you all of them are based on nvidia json platforms topic is video analytic right learning from nvidia statistic we know that most customers they leverage they, they hire cameras based on different interfaces the top the, the the popular ones are usb cameras mp cameras and the ethernet cameras it depends on your application for usb cameras always in the like near distance so like ai oi you can leverage uh, usb 3.0 industrial camera for some amr they like to integrate with uh, 3d stereo cameras yes usb 3.0 camera is uh, very popular in to build in the amr for mipi camera the mipi camera has uh, to build with for the camera very closely but we do in another way we use mipi camera to connect with uh, gms and cameras that means we build gms or module to to get into the mipi uh, interface and the other side we communicate with gms or camera the distance we are up to 100 meters okay compared to the near uh mipi camera the application is much more wild right so especially in the vehicle they need high speed they need high frame rate they need high resolution no problem gms of the support and uh, the ethernet cam camera is very widely used right for giga e camera or even pengi camera you can see them in the factory in the production line to do the AI AOI or we like the IP camera it's very convenient to get a video streaming like RTSP or RH264 streamings to do the AI inference in the uh, public or stack or private uh, area to do the like human behavior or human content or something like safety and security yeah this is very convenient to get Uh, video from the IP camera as well. Other other sensors like lidar, like IMU, we also have the experience to build in our in our systems. So if you need other sensors, we have the capability to help you to integrate that. If you compare our developer kits, our solution kits with uh, Nvidia's uh, developer kits and solution kits, some uh, some items I would like to hire, highlight is like a USB ports. We have more than the develop kit and uh, we support uh, the wider operate, operating temperature that means your project would be uh, deployed at the uh, intersection or in the uh, mission critical area no problem our product is uh, quite robust to a broad different kind of uh, uh, installation uh, condition we also support industrial Price. that's important because most of the comp, comp, most of the job site with uh, industrial uh, power supply and uh, the 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 possible is not so stable but if you encounter something uh, different uh, some something dangerous our world can avoid uh, the aspect but for the com commercial or even consumer developed kids from Nvidia they can afford a lot so go with a uh, advantage you can have uh, developed kit from uh, nano 
nano ZBNS to OrinNS to even larger one uh, with a uh, poor uh, integration flexibility and my 733 s to support to 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 you know a certain new development. Then if you want to deliver the the silver label pro products, we also have a chassis already and the certification already and the warranty one more year to support your project. Okay, this is our last page. And uh, you know, we at the bank tech bring the uh NVIDIA's whole the uh, product portfolio to build suitable, capable, and the suitable systems for lay for customers to use. From your development, you can use our uh, carryable with uh, thermal solutions. That's much more convenient and, uh, and uh, easy to build the solution. Then we have uh, a robust consolidated systems for you to bring the system to your job site. You know our product portfolio to help you in the future. Thank you. Right. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ray, for sharing details on the Advantex Edge AI solutions with NVIDIA platforms. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is uh, Mr. Ajay S. Kabadi. Uh, he's the founder and CEO of Dr. Trantech Private Limited. Uh, the thing that we see and I've observed in an industry is uh, there are a lot of cameras which are out there. There might be a CCTV based yep. cameras out there. There are a lot of productivity uh, issues which we already see. A lot of machine might hit a particular person and lead to a death also. And there are a lot of manual based SOP standards. As you know, that every industry has a set of standard operating procedures to operate. How do you work on set of equipment? What the industry requires? What type of panels that might be? What type of mechanical operations might be? Always there is a site engineer to evaluate these type of scenarios, but there is no set of digitization. So there might be some some digital solution, but can we go beyond beyond that scenario? Having multiple combinations of the problems also might be on productivity, quality, safety, security uh, uh, on this part. That's where uh, I would see video analytics is, is a game changer, which is bringing a lot of solutions around it by just using your normal CCTV camera and uh, also your yeah. machine uh, vision based camera. Uh, how do we do that is uh, it's an on-prem based solution. It's an Advantage Edge device uh, or an on-prem based server of Advantage Edge device where the software gets loaded into that. And what it does is it gets connected with any CCTV cameras, any of brand. It might be a mix of combinations of the brands. Uh, it is a combination of Advantech as well as software stack of docket in place, uh, which gets the data to our system. And once the data comes into place, we analyze uh, various information for a safety compliance to start with uh, on a safety perspective. There are various PP, PP compliances, right? There are uh, fluorescent uh, jackets. Uh, there are fluorescent jackets, there are two posts for fire, there are the steam suits, there are electrical shock resistant jackets. So you can identify and check which are the PP standards which are being followed at the respective industries, at the respective departments also. That's one layer of safety checks which you can do. Uh, if a machine is about to hit a particular person, you can create a geofencing around that machine uh, with our GUI tool. And if a person enters that unrestricted or un uh, uh, allow, uh, unauthorized zone, the machine can stop on real time. But how do we do that and how do we leverage that? Right? You want to stop in an immediate basis. So, what we do is at one side, there is a hardware which is analyzing all these video analytics. From but if you want to, there is a violation being observed. If somebody is not wearing a helmet, there is a trigger system that is there. And what this trigger system does is at the camera region itself, you can mount a hooter. And whenever somebody removes yeah, those, the hooters start firing at that location yeah. itself. So it's on real time feedback, which is happening. Uh, no. The second point is if you want to stop a machine on real time uh, basis, we give a relay based output, okay. which is a on real time PLC based output, which you get in, which can be connected to your PLC or it can be connected to your direct machinery yeah. itself. Since it's uh, a potential free, that's given an added advantage to stop that machine on real time. And the third part would be uh, if I want the violations to talk me in the languages that is required. Uh, maybe in Odisha, we speak Odian. In, in Maharashtra, as a Marathi, as an example. So we make our voice announcement based on the violations which is being observed. We try to 
showcase and tell that this is what the violation is and everything happens on the premises the data is your private uh, video data gets processed on real time over there and simultaneously on real time basis it gives you uh, these data on real time that's on a safety point right and if you want to dig down uh, uh, into multiple scenarios if you want to check uh, the mechanical based scenarios right in mechanical there are various operations in an industry it might be an hydraulic it might be the gas pipeline uh, pneumatics conveyor belt uh, in electrical we have electrical panel so we have set of standard operating procedure to operate those machineries so if you want to see from a camera from a camera angle uh, all the sops what we say in uh, that the standard operating procedures that we talk about can my camera you evaluate that's how we do so we evaluate each and every aspect part of it and how a particular employee works on those equipment and if he's deviating from those there is a uh, alert which happens which can be integrated to their respective relevant data so with that we conclude today's session thank you once again dr h and mr ajay eskavari it was my pleasure having you here today sir so we hope you have enjoyed this episode of mojafar industry presents digital dialogue on video analytics in manufacturing industry sponsored by advantage for more updates please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon